All right, back for another beer review, and today I'm going to be reviewing yet another beer from Christian Moorline Brewing, and they are out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and this is their FC Cincinnati Blood Orange IPA. So this is a white IPA that they're brewing with sweet orange peel and blood orange puree. It comes in at 6% alcohol by volume, 29 IBUs at the time of review. I have no idea how old this is because it does not have a canned on date, but I'd assume it's relatively fresh because this one was sent to me by a good friend of mine and fellow beer tuber, Rod over at Raj A Beer Ventures. So thank you very much, Rod. In the description box, I'll post a link to both Raj's channel and the beer mail unboxing video that I did of said goodies he sent my way. So yeah, anyway, uh, I did their big hazy recently and um, yeah, it was pretty solid. So this one is basically uh, inspired by the FC Cincinnati uh, Soccer Club. Uh, they used to be part of the United Soccer League, and now they have moved on to MLS, Major League Soccer. So congratulations to them. So in addition to the sweet orange peel and blood orange puree they're using, they're also using Cascade, Centennial, and CTZ hops. Yeah, I haven't had a white, white IPA in a long time, honestly. I remember three, four years ago when they were relatively popular and brand new. People were like, oh, white IPA. Um, haven't had one in a while, but I love me some blood orange. Blood orange puree sounds delicious to be in this beer. So hopefully this is quite refreshing and tasty. That's what I'm hoping anyway. We'll see. Well, I will say, I know it says blood orange IPA on it. Okay, I do know that. But... They do mention it's a white, like on the, the reason why I said the base was white IPAs, that's what it's listed on tap. And they also say they're utilizing a blend of white wheat, two row and honey malt. So maybe not a quite an, a white IPA because on first look, this just looks like a straight up American IPA. So yeah, it has this like, you know, almost uh, orange into like copper color, rust color, uh, very uh, relatively filtered, about a finger and a half of an off white head, quite creamy looking. So regardless of whether this is technically a white IP or just an American IP, whatever, we'll see. Ooh, so right up front, definitely getting some of that blood orange, but also getting a pretty big blast of like caramel and white bread uh, malt notes in this one. Honey as well. They said they used uh, honey malts too. Definitely picking up on a little bit of honey. Now that might be because I read it on the can. Or maybe it's because um, it's actually, I can smell it. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, definitely sweeter. Um, sweet orange peel as well. There isn't a lot of hop character here. This is basically all about that orange uh, quality to the beer. Sweeter orange, more of like the flesh, the juice, uh, like a sweet orange peel. Obviously, they're using that in here. Honey, caramel. Yeah, it smells like it's going to be quite sweet. Let's get into it. Cheers, everyone. Thanks again, Ron. The taste is actually way more balanced than the nose, which is great because the nose was smelling like, it's smelling like it was going to just be super sweet and just like super malty. And the taste is way more balanced. First off... It's uh, the mouthfeel itself, very effervescent. There's a decent amount of carbonation here. But in addition with that, it's very smooth. Um, on top of that, the body, you know, at 6%, yeah, I'd say this is actually straight up medium body. It has a nice, decent heft behind it for a 6% beer. The taste, though, this is blood orange, sweet orange peel, all the orange you ever wanted. If you're a huge fan of blood orange or um, just any kind of orange in general, this is the beer for you. I do, like I said, love me some blood orange. This is like a, a one note wonder, so to speak. Uh, so much orange in this one. I'm getting underlying like that honey and caramel from the nose, but it's so dialed back. Like I said, that's actually welcome because I thought this was gonna be a big multi mess face on the nose, not so much on the taste. But yeah, this is sweet through and through. It's not cloying, but I wish there was a little bit more like of a bitterness and a dryness on the back end to kind of balance this one out because it is pretty dry by the end of this can I'm probably gonna be done one and done with it but yeah I mean I'm struggling to really just say much about this one because it's really just all about that orange character the orange notes are the predominant note it does have this slight acidic almost ever so slight tartness from the blood orange which is nice but honestly for me I don't want to say this is boring, but for me, it's kind of boring. Um, it's just blood orange with not a lot going on. Um, 
I'd want more complexity. Like I said, I want a more of a balance to this one. It's crazy how much they flip the script from the aroma to the nose for me. Not in a negative way, because I do think if I was tasting what I was smelling, I would really not care for this. That would be, it, it almost smelled like a very old, just like, you know, six to nine month old IPA that just kind of shot at that point. But the taste, because of that blood orange, because of the sweet orange peel, comes off a bit better than that. At the same time, this isn't one that I'm really caring for too much, but it's not a bad beer. Like I said, if you like blood orange and you just want something that's straight on blood orange, this is refreshing. Uh, it's a solid, well-made beer, but for me, I just want a lot more from it. So rating-wise for FC Cincinnati Blood Orange IP from Christian Moore Line Brewing, I'm gonna give it a 3.25 out of five. Like I said, not a lot wrong with it for me personally. It's just that it lacks complexity. It doesn't have a big oomph. I mean. If you're just gonna go with the straight blood orange character, like it's pretty much is in here, that and the sweet orange peel, I just want to punch me in the face. It's there, but it's not intense. It's not bombastic. Shout out to Paul over PA Brew News. It's just okay. So 3.25 out of five. I do appreciate Rod, you sending it my way because it was cool to try and uh, appreciate everybody else stopping by for another beer review. And until the next one, cheers.